Welcome back to my channel. As always, we bring you interesting stories to keep you entertained and informed. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out any stories we share once we upload them. Now, let the story begin. Once upon a time, in the village of Umoma, there lived a loving couple named Ada and Ubina. They were known for their strong bond and deep love for each other. Ada and Obina had three children, but mysteriously, each child passed away right after the fifth month's birthday. The couple was so heartbroken and couldn't understand why this tragedy kept happening to them. When Ada became pregnant with their fourth child, she decided to be extra careful. She noticed a strange pattern each time she gave birth. Obina insisted on taking the placenta away. Ada's curiosity grew and she began to suspect that something was terribly wrong. Determined to uncover the truth, Ada started asking questions around the village. She spoke to wise elders and even sought advice from the distant relative who was known for his deep knowledge of traditional matters. After gathering all the information, Ada learned about a deep practice where some people use placentas for money rituals. <laughs> Ada's heart sank as she realized that her beloved husband might be involved in such an evil act. Ada felt a mix of fear and anger, but she knew she had to protect her unborn child. She decided not to let Obina take the placenta this time. The day arrived when Ada gave birth to a baby boy. As usual, Obina asked for the placenta. But this time, Ada firmly refused. No, Obina, you will not take the placenta, she said with a determined look in her eyes. Obina was taken aback by Ada's defiance. He tried to persuade her, but Ada stood her ground. I know what you've been doing with her children's placenta, Ada said, her voice trembling with emotions. You've been using them for money rituals, haven't you? Obina's face turned pale. He tried to deny it, but Ada's word cut through him like a knife. The village elders who had heard the commotion gathered around. Ada's bravery recounted her findings and suspicions to the elders and the villagers. The villagers were shocked and angry. They couldn't believe that Obina, a man they respected, could be involved in such a heinous act. The elders decided to intervene. The seized Obina and handed him over to the local authorities. As Obina was taken away, Ada held her newborn son. Close to her chest, she felt a mix of relief and sadness. Relief that she had protected her child, but sadness that the man she once loved had betrayed her in such a terrible way. The villagers supported Ada promising to help her raise her child and keep them both safe. Ada knew she had a long road ahead, but she was determined to rebuild her life and protect her son from any harm. In the days that followed, Ada received many visitors who came to offer their support and sympathy. She found strength in the kindness of her community and vowed to be a strong and loving mother to her son. Meanwhile, in the village, Whispers of Obina betrayal spread like wildfire. The elders decided to perform a cleansing ritual to rid the village of any lingering dark energy. They hoped to restore peace and harmony to Umoma. Ada and her son began to find some semblance of normalcy in their lives. However, the shadow of Obina's action still loomed over them. Ada often wondered what would become of Obina if he would ever repent for his deeds. One evening as the sun set over the village, Ada sat by the fire with her son in her arms. She sang a gentle lullaby, her voice filled with love and hope. She promised herself that she would do everything in her power to protect her child and give him a bright future. The village elders continued to watch over Ada and her son, offering guidance and support whenever needed. They knew that healing would take time, but they were determined to help Ada and the village move forward. As the days turned into weeks, Ada found solace in the simple joy of motherhood. 
She cherished every moment with her son, watching him grow and thrive. She knew that their journey was far from over, but she was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The story of Ada and Obina became a cautionary tale in Omoama, a reminder of the importance of love, trust, and the consequences of betrayal. Ada's strength and courage inspired many, and her stories was passed down through generations as a statement to the power of a mother's love. Despite the support of the village, Ada couldn't help but feel a deep sense of loneliness. The love she once had for Obina was now replaced with a burning hatred. Every time she looked at her son, she was reminded of the pain and betrayal she had endured. But even at that, she knew she has to stay strong for her child. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you would like us to continue this story, kindly leave a comment below. Do not forget to also subscribe to our channel, please so we can keep bringing you interesting videos.